Welcome back. So today I'm going to discuss soft launch versus hard launch. So I have sort of come up with the term hard launch, but there's a reason and I hope you stick with me to learn more about it. So what is soft launch? Soft launch is like a beta launch. Um, I published my book September of 2022. I'm talking about rock gods and messy monsters. And I say now I Southwest soft launched it. And that's because it has taken nearly a year and I still don't know everything, but it's taken nearly a year for me to start to understand what I'm doing in the indie book publishing process. I do know there are people who publish a book, they throw it online and that's it. If you want to do it properly these days, even traditionally published authors generally have to do their own marketing. So, you know, NetGalley, BookBub, BookFunnel, BookSweeps, Book This, Book That. There are a million, million things you can do. And there's certain things that are better for certain genres, but my book, it has been, it has taken a year to figure out a genre. I'm hoping this is the correct one. Uh, I'll talk about that in another video. But the first year I looked at it as a time to get reviews. Um, I can't say I have a lot, but I have 24 reviews on Amazon, which helps a lot. I think they say 50, so I still got a ways to go, but 24 is still great because it's very hard to get reviews these days. Uh, apply for book awards, so an editorial review. So I have some amazing editorial reviews. So when I go into my hard launch, I have this ammunition. I have all of this material to take with me to help promote the book. Um, it also was a time for me to refine my book description, to figure out who my target audience was, to figure out what my genre was. So. It takes time. I'm one of those people, like I can read a book and trust me, I lived on the internet. I watch hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of YouTube videos on indie publishing and what to do. And you have to do it. You have to do it with your book. Every writer is different. Everybody's process is different. So you need to figure out what works for you. That's the soft launch. Um, one thing to really try to remember is Publishing is different now. Books never get old because everything is online and way more people buy online than in physical bookstores. Unfortunately, your book is considered evergreen. It never dies. So I consider year one, soft launch. First two years, it's still a new release. First five years, it's still new. I'm not joking. You can market one book for the rest of your life should you choose to. Um, so... That's a soft launch. Now, hard launch. The reason I started calling it hard launch is I have scheduled an event on October 11th in New York City, and everything is harder in New York City. So it's it, the hard launch. This is the official, the book is out. I sort of know what I'm doing, and this is to promote it. So I can come in with, you know, my reviews and the stuff that I've accumulated to get interviews to write my own articles, to do videos like this, um, explaining the process, to build readership. I think, I do think it's impossible to do everything at once. Now there is the rare person who will put a book out, throw it on Amazon, do nothing, and it will sell. One in a billion, it happens. So if you think that's you, that's fine. Um, for the rest of us, there's a process and a learning curve. And it's fun and it's exciting and you shed tears and you cry. I was just, I just uh, WhatsApped a couple of friends because as part of the hard, hard launch, I'm doing a new book cover and I'm like, I'm weeping in my tea. I don't know about this cover. So as part of the hard, hard launch, I was taught that there are three things that are the most important with your book. One is your book description. The other is your book cover. And the third is the editing and the story. So I had three book marketing experts look at the book and they informed me that um, the, the editing of the story was fine. The book description needed tweaking, which I've done. And the third was they said that I needed a new cover, which I did not know is that your book cover should align with other covers in your genre. But because I didn't know my genre, uh, I didn't really know what I was doing. So I'm in the process of that right now. I will share with you um, when I get it done. So 
hard launch. You know, and, and, and during the hard launch, I, I can start promoting it off Amazon. Like right now, I haven't had time. Like I'm still learning Amazon. One thing I've learned, I'm paying a company to do Amazon ads. Um, I couldn't figure it out. It's hard. It's hard. And I haven't lost a lot of money. That's the other thing is anybody who wants to get into indie publishing, put a budget aside, like save up money. I look at it as I would spend a thousand dollars on a ticket, you know, a good seat at a rock and roll show. I'm not doing that now. You know, I've cut back. I stopped drinking. Um, that's not why I stopped drinking, but I could say, oh, I used to spend, you know, I don't want to tell you how much I would spend on drinking uh, wine and having nice meals in New York. But, you know, uh, I can take that money and put it toward promoting my book because that's what I would rather be doing. So if you're writing a book or you're publishing a book, good luck. Um, to everybody who's watching this, who knows me, I still don't know what I'm doing, but I'm here still in New Mexico and more to come catch you soon.